Are you aware of how uncommon a common sense statement that you made during your tenure in regards to um, immigration into Australia, uh, how it affected the rest of the world and, and was just so uncommon. When you said uh, anybody is welcome to come and live in Australia as long as you can live by our rules. Mm. And if you feel you need to change them, you can just go back to where you came from. Now, this very common sense approach was uh, very widely publicised here as well. And um, what, uh, how, how do you feel in terms of Australian policy? This was then integrated. So the statements I made over a number of years were really based on a simple proposition. And that is that, that Australia has been in very open to people from all around the world. Um, there are probably more original nationalities, if I can put it that way, represented in Australia than any other country except Israel. There's extraordinary diversity of, of people, I mean often only very small numbers, but we, we are open and we used to have a discriminatory immigration policy up in the 1960s. We had a white Australia policy and that was changed in, in the 1960s and we have people from everywhere. But when you come to Australia, my philosophy was you become an Australian. I mean, the Americans call it the melting pot, um, uh, where you come from everywhere and you all become part of, uh, part of the community. Now, that expression is not used. I mean, I don't know what expression, you can use any expression you like to describe it, but my, my, my view was simply this, that, that we'll take people from anywhere providing they meet the criteria and we won't discriminate on the grounds of nationality or ethnicity or race or religion, but um, we'll decide who comes and, and we'll also decide uh, that um, determine that they live according to Australian law. I mean, I think this idea that you can have a, a federation of cultures inside one country is, is, is not workable. I mean, there's an American culture that's been contributed to from all around the world. It's very identifiable. And I'm a great believer in defending your cultural distinctiveness. I think countries should never apologise for their culture. I don't, want to, I don't want to live in a world where everybody's exactly the same. I, I rather like the idea of visiting France and meeting Frenchmen or, or visiting uh, uh, Germany and meeting Germans or, or visiting uh, Israel and meeting Israelis. I mean, the Israelis may come from everywhere, but gee, I can recognise an Israeli if I meet him. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, uh, yeah, that's, and I, I think that is the philosophy we, we ought to have and I think we went through this stage of, of apologising. The West has, got, has po apologised too much for its culture and its values and what it really believes in and I, I think that's damaging. Thanks.